How's everybody doing? Okay. You good? Okay. Where's, TM where's TMZ? <laughs> They're not here? <laughs> That's good news. Good news. <laughs> <laughs> Can you talk about how you feel emotionally uh, signing with Los Angeles Lakers? Yes, it was a long time coming, you know, so to speak. You know, I always wanted to be a Laker. You know, not not coming out of college, I wanted to be a Nick. As I grew, um, as I started to compete against the Lakers and against Kobe and and uh, just grew that respect for him, I always wanted to be, you know, a teammate, a teammate of his. You know, as you can see, when I was on other teams. Uh, the likeness of Kobe <laughs> went out the door. You know, I always wanted to compete and, and try to win the games. But for the last couple of years, you know, in the back of my mind, I really wanted to be here, you know. And um, definitely putting my team first, you know, whether it was Sacramento or Houston, you know, I definitely put my team first. But when I had this opportunity to come here, obviously uh, the team that, uh, that I started out with this year, Houston Rockets, you know, you wanted to show some loyalty and give them, you know, the first option, you know, just, just out of loyalty, knowing that being in LA is a bigger, uh, more opportunities for me. And um, when uh, when the Lakers called at 12 and one, uh, I was surprised. I was talking to my agent. I was talking to my wife first. Talked to my agent, and he says, "Mitch called." And I said, "For what?" <laughs> he says, "He wants to help you get a ring." And I was just totally shocked and surprised. And. Uh, and I was in L.A. already for a month and a half, maybe two months, and uh, it was great because I didn't have to leave and go back to Houston. So hopefully my clothes make it to L.A. If they don't, they can just stay in Houston. Hey, Ron, you, you were in, in Chicago early in your career. Uh, did they run a version of the Triangle? Do you have any experience in it? Yes, I, I ran it a, a little bit, and I loved it. And then I got traded to Indiana, but, you know, uh, around the league, people like the tri Triangle. A lot of players like the Triangle. You know, uh, it's a fun offense. Especially if you know the game, if you got any intelligence, you're going to like the offense, you know, so I'm looking forward to it. Ron, where, where do you feel your defensive skills are 10 years into uh, your career? I feel that they're still good, you know. I was, uh, I'm still able to, you know, stay in front of guys. and I, uh, I had some shot blockers, you know. When I was with Jermaine, I think they gave me a little too much credit, you know, because uh, I would get into my guy defensively and pick him up, but Jermaine was blocking every shot. Jermaine could have easily got Defensive Player of the Year that year. I probably could have won it a couple other years if it wasn't, you know, for, you know, getting off track a little bit. But when you got two seven-footers and, uh, and, and uh, hopefully Lamar Odom, all these guys behind you, I can just get into my man defensively, and they're going to have to adjust their shot can, you know, uh, constantly. So uh, you're going to have to give credit, you know, to the big fella when you got presence like that behind you.